Well, July is Pride Month here in San Diego, and there are so many ways to celebrate. Here to tell us how San Diego Public Libraries are taking part, we have Adi Huertas as well as Odie the Coyote. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Thanks for being with us. Um, happy Pride to you. Happy Pride. It is amazing. I want to start off with you, Addy, telling me just before this that you have been with the library for 28 years. Is that right? Yes. Practically grew up in yeah. the library, San Diego native. So it's been a lot of fun and a wild ride and never a dull moment in the library. I feel like there are people my age that consistently talk about this idea of like, I wish there was a place where I could just get a book for like a short period of time and then give it back or like almost an exchange where you can go get a book and then go to a different book. And, I, and there are literally people who are like, those are libraries. Yeah. There are what those. Are <laughs> we have those. Absolutely. <laughs> we have something for everyone. And we have books that tells everyone's stories and where folks mm -hmm. can, you know, see themselves and their stories and their identities represented. So we definitely are that place. The library plays a huge role in Pride. You said you're the Grand Marshal of the Pride Parade, right? Yes, we are very excited. Along with our educator siblings, we are the Grand Marshal this year so we get to kick off the parade library workers and educators uh, just you know kicking off the parade and we are just gonna be there with you know all of our yeah, cheer the excitement all of our signs. Mm -hmm. yes I mean tell people at home the importance of a library and being able to deliver these types of stories to kids to young adults and and especially in environments where they might not get that at home we celebrate diversity and inclusion at libraries, and we pride ourselves in being open, welcoming spaces. We want to make sure that when people come to the library, they can see themselves reflected in the stories and the collections that we have at our libraries. So we want to make sure that the books that we have, the collections that we have, represent those diverse stories. We all have a story to tell. Right. We want to make sure that those stories are available and that those identities are represented within the books. It is so easy to get your first library card if you don't have one. If you do have one you can renew now and you can get the pride library yes. card right also this one here this is the massive version of the pride <laughs> library card um so tell people at home is it true that right now you're doing the renewals for free yes yeah, so this month we have a special edition uh brand new Pride library card for this year. So That's this right. is a design. It was designed by Jen Connolly, and it's celebrating the Stonewall Rebellion. We're super excited. Every year we have a contest where we have communities submit artwork. And this year, this is the winner. So for the month of July, if you want to get the new design, you can just get the new card without any renewal fees yeah. and just pop in your library starting July 13th. It's so quick. You just walk in, yeah, and you walk renew in, it. Say, I want the new Pride card. <laughs> Switch it out. Uh, Pride is coming up. Remind people uh, how they can get involved in Pride Story Hour. So yes, Pride Story Hour. We have one this Saturday with Lady, Lady Marmalade at the North University Library at 10, 10, 10 a.m. So come join us at Pride Story Hour. This Saturday, we have another one on July uh, 17th. Just come and join. You don't need to register. Just pop into the library, Oak Park Library on the 17th. But we have these fun story times that celebrate diversity and inclusion with uh, queens that are just going to make it a, a whole yeah. lot of fun. Dancing and storytelling. Oh, yeah. I mean, so the kids it's a love great it. time. I mean, it's they really have time. the time of their lives getting to uh, read these fun stories, getting to dance, like you said. Um, there's also SheFest coming up, right? Yes. We will be representing at SheFest. We'll have a booth there. Odie the Coyote also comes out with us Odie. to all the events. <laughs> yes. So we'll, we'll have the cards. You can get your card at SheFest. We'll have a library booth. If you want to learn about any of our resources, our books, our materials, we will be at SheFest and we'll also be at the Pride uh, Festival. Also have to mention, we are entering the hottest stretch that San Diego has seen this year. Libraries are a great place to not only get the education in, but also to stay cool, right? Cool zones. If you want a great place to cool off, read a book, or come enjoy a fun program, mm -hmm. we are definitely cool zones. We have 36 locations. If you want to come hang out, relax, or come have Perfect. fun with us, hang out at your local library. Where can people find their local library and get more information? If you visit our website, San Diego Library forward slash public, uh, you can visit our website and see all of our locations. We have 36 awesome. locations throughout the city. So San Diego.gov forward slash public library. You can check out 36 locations and we're open most a lot of locations seven days a week. I so. love it. Thank yes. you both for being with us. Odie and Addy, <laughs> we appreciate it. Odie the Coyote. Enjoy the pride selection yes. too. We're back after this quick break. Stay with us.